Look, we are so scrutinizing of Anthony Joshua. He won Olympic super heavyweight gold after 30 amateur fights. He took up boxing at 18, 19. He's a neophyte in many ways. As George Foreman said, and as I reminded Anthony on Wednesday, no one prepares you to be the heavyweight champion in the world in terms of PR, how to carry yourself, or, or understanding the kind of pressures you are under. When George Foreman lost to Muhammad Ali in the Rumble in the Jungle, he disappeared for a decade. He came back and he took 19 fights to the age of 46 to win the world title back again because he couldn't handle it. Give these guys some credit. He lost to Andrew. It was a different time. It was a different, different time. Different time. Different we, can, time. We, can, we can talk about Cassius Clay being prepared to win the world title at 21 years of age. We can what? talk about Mike Tyson being prepared to win the heavyweight championship of the world at 21 years of age. Just because George Foreman is an argument that suits the mechanism that you wish to deploy. And I'm, we don't need Eddie Earn up here for, for Anthony Joshua's PR. We've got you doing it. The bottom line <laughs> is, is the accountability here is, is that we need Anthony Joshua to make a definitive statement because he hasn't made one for some time. Simon, Simon he made a definitive statement against Oliver. Alexander Rusik in that he, he, he gave an improved performance. He was 5-4 up after nine rounds and he got outboxed, as we've all said. He got outboxed in the last four rounds. He wasn't massively hurt he in that fight. Like he wasn't 5 up in that fight. No, That's I how know. I had it after nine rounds. Well, you five, may four, well have two, done. Two. Yeah, yeah but, but listen, you're the caped crusader for our sport right now, yeah? And, and, and everybody else doesn't know what they're doing, Simon. No, you, not, not specifically. No, you, are, you act like the caped crusader no, it's, of it's, boxing. It's called a debate. No, uh, I'm, I'm, Gareth, and I'm having and, a debate with you. And neither are you the oracle. I'm not, right. I'm, I'm not so, saying so, I am. What, so let's not, not, let's not, let's, let's not pigeonhole either. one another into a position, Gareth, because I could have a real dance with you, Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I can't actually be bothered. The point of the matter is what that we're, mean, we're, what, we're, what, we're what, having a debate about where Anthony Joshua, be we're where, having a where, where about Anthony Anthony Joshua, Joshua is in the great scheme of things. Time Myself out. and Adam believe that he needs to make a compelling statement. You want to give him a pass no, whatever, for whatever he does. I've already said he a compelling statement. I've said I think he needs to get the job done in seven rounds. I'm giving both sides of the argument, Simon. He's coming off a loss, this kid. Taking on the former unified two-time so heavyweight he champion of the world. opponent for Joshua? No, I'm disappointed in it. I'm disappointed in the... the Who should have been fighting now? Dylan Dillian White. White. That should have been the fight. That should have been the fight. Yeah. So, I mean, does he have anything in his armory, to be honest, Adam, that's going to make us think, wow, yeah, yeah a shock could well happen. As I said, he's got fast hands. And he's, he's, his, big, his biggest asset is what's going on between Anthony Joshua's ears. That's his biggest asset. He's also got decent movement. He, 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 his feet are terrible. He Let's, punches while well in exchange. Well, I was there ringside to watch him fight Dillian White, and I thought he was handy. Definitely Dillian White handy. was off. You just said that night. He, well, he was off, but Dillian White is, is an elite heavyweight. Who has been, just been beaten by a Tyson Fury in an elite heavyweight contest. Yeah. But it, uh, that, Jim, look, Jermaine and he's Franklin, also been knocked out by Anthony Joshua seven, eight years ago. Th there is jeopardy in this fight. That's what I'm going to say. For, like, if, 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 he gets caught, if he gets caught, there like are it. dangers. I mean, the, I don't the many are saying, be. welcome back, AJ. Here you go. Here's your chance again to get back into the yeah. group for the big time. I mean, there's jeopardy in crossing the road, isn't there? But if you look both ways, you don't get run over. And ultimately, if Anthony Joshua looks both ways and decides to do a job on this fellow, then that's precisely what he should be able to it's do. It's not as easy as that. Come well, on, crossing the road is not I know, a heavyweight but, fight but in, in, in front of 20,000. But in my role, when as, you're earning 25 in my role million, cape, with a new, hang on, with a new broadcast, in your role as Cape Crusader, hang on, put your cape on, let me just finish. In, in this, Anthony Joshua is under enormous pressure. Oh, so what, Gareth? What's that got to do with the price of cheese? In my role of Cape Crusader, besides outlawing dress codes like look like they come from Shawadawadi, I would be in the ca in the in the, <laughs> era, in the, so in the, in the era of making topic, of making sure that Anthony Joshua is held to account. He needs to go into this fight and make a statement. He and will we can do the statement. dance of the seven veils if we he want. But the bottom line is is Jermaine Franklin is not up to the level. He should get knocked over, and he should get knocked over quick. And if he doesn't then everyone's going to have a look at Anthony Joshua and say, what, uh, what are we seeing from this fighter now? Because there are massive questions about Anthony, uh, Anthony You're Joshua. You're like the fan out from, there. From that he's damned if he does and he's damned That's if not he true. doesn't. If I'm he an, goes I, 12 I, rounds, I, you'll damn him. If I'm, he knocks I'm, him out I'm quickly, a, he wasn't I'm an objective enough. point of view. You have to call Underdogs to, win in sports, I, I don't have they? To, they? They know that. They do, very rarely. They do. It happens. Very rarely. And in this instance, if it does happen end of Anthony Joshua, if he doesn't do a job that's compelling, the debate will rumble on whether he's ever going to get back to and that level. And that's a fair point. And that's I a fair that, point. That is the a debate point. will always rumble on about where Anthony Joshua sits in this era if he doesn't fight Wilder, Joyce and Fury. My name's Anthony Joshua. Listen to my fight live on TalkSport against Jermaine Franklin this Saturday on TalkSport, the home of boxing.